Bonjour, this is working. This is fantastic. Thank you. So, in a post-100,000 subscriber new world, what my quest is, is to really start a new wave of social media science. And yesterday, just yesterday, I planted the wacky, slightly clickbaity, I admit, idea that our sun should be black or transparent because of plasma. And I'm humble. It was an idea. I am a filmmaker. But you know your stuff. And now, less than 24 hours after my original concept film was published, I've got the answers. You are the answer. The experts, the astrophysicists of YouTube and very much from Patreon have reached out to explain why and how the sun shines. And it's a bigger picture than just a plasma ball. It's really fascinating. So before I tell you what they have said, and thank you very much all those people who have got in touch, let me explain yet again why I think social media science is the way forward. I don't have an agenda. I don't close the film when it's finished. I am a filmmaker. I'm good, I think, at putting forward interesting concepts. I'm this over-enthusiastic, wild-haired, Adam Savage possible lookalite um, person who's a science researcher who spent my entire life working on broadcast science films bringing difficult concepts to viewers. That's all I do, very humbly. That is all I do. And when I read or come up with an idea, I put it out there for you. And initially, the discussion down there underneath the film is a good place to start. Patreon has worked out so well for me with such incredible people, scientists who actually know their stuff. And I will do a follow-up. Now a bigger picture has been revealed, closer to the truth. And that's what you're going to get on this channel. Feedback from experts with me as a filmmaker planting concepts that intrigue you as viewers, but stick around and there'll be follow-up from what the science really is. And that's not what TV used to do. It researched, had an agenda, cleared their facts and closed their book. End of story. I am not going to do that. Today, here is the follow-up to the film that went out yesterday, answering now how the sun really makes light. So my viewers on Patreon who got to see the film first answered the question, is our sun going to disappear? Alan Alpert, no, because the high energy photons generated by the fusion come off the surface as visible light. It takes thousands of years of photons generated in the sun to reach the surface. I say, great answer, so fusion also releases photons. Fusion changes some mass to energy. The energy is the photons, mainly gamma rays. They slosh around in the sun for a long time. When they leave, they are a whole mix of wavelengths, some of which are visible light. I say thank you. Tony A. Mish from Patreon. First, Simon, congratulations on 100K, a wonderful and well-deserved milestone. Thanks, Tony. As to the sun's radiation, I think that the flaw in your argument is an assumption that plasmas cannot absorb and remit photons, whereas that is in fact the primary process that moves photons from the sun's core 
where they are produced by fusion, up through the radiant zone that's adjacent to the core and reaching about 70% of the radius of the sun. This cycle of absorption and re-emission in the radiative zone happens again and again and again until the photon reaches the convective zone, which, as Alan points out, takes a very long time. In the convective zone, the last 30% of the sun's radius, the temperature has dropped enough that the state of matter is no longer pure plasma, and most of the energy transfer takes place by the hot material rising to the surface, a process that is exquisitely demonstrated in the time-lapse movies showing the rolling convection cells on the sun's surface. Once brought to the sun's visible surface, the photosphere, the energy is free to radiate into space in the form of photons of various energies. A still mysterious process is why the sun's outer atmosphere, the corona, a plasma that reaches far out into space above the 10,000 degree photosphere, reaches as much as 2 million degrees. Though the corona's high temperature has been known for about a century, I believe the mechanism is not fully understood. Brandon Ward. Fusion in the sun's core produces gamma ray photons, which take thousands of years to reach the surface, as they are repeatedly absorbed and radiated. So I would say, no, the sun should not be black or transparent. And I say, thanks, Brendan. Lewis Doherty. Maybe the gamma rays are absorbed by atoms separating the nuclei from the electrons to produce plasma. Then, when the plasma goes back to the gas phase, at the surface, photons in visible light wavelengths are expelled. It would be similar to how a fluorescent light works. Photons in the invisible light spectrum are generated in the gas, and then when they hit the fluorescent material coated on the inside of the glass, they convert to visible light. The outer surface may act as the fluorescent coating in a bulb. The sun is a fluorescent bulb. And this is great. This is a reply to Lewis from Brendan. To Lewis. As the photons make their way to the surface, they are continually losing energy in their interactions with the electrons. By the time they reach the surface, most of them are in the visible part of the spectrum. And Private Psy says... Great, you've made it to 100,000 subs. Fission and fusion reactions produce photons too. Dense plasma may keep ionizing and recombining as pressure raises temperature, but also squeezes ions and electrons together. It's made of different layers of different elements, up to iron and mostly hydrogen. With lots of fusion and fission happening, it would glow. Some people think fusion occurs in the magnetic loops, but they're fringe. Most think it's deep inside. And I say, good info. Aid Swash. Hi, Aid. Congratulations on your 100k subs, Professor Simon. Another fabulous video. Very interesting. I use a small hydrogen alpha filtered telescope to view the sun, and it's fascinating to see the coronal activity, but your video and explanation adds a new dimension. Thanks, Aid. And finally, Varus 2.0. As a German, I would not comment on the topic of a black sun, hmm. but I agree 100% of what you say at the end of the video. It is so cool to watch other people around the world and have a discussion. I threw my TV out of the window over 15 years ago and never regret it. Good point. That was really fascinating stuff, and this is really working. For the first time, this is a new way of disseminating science and a new social media definition, a 2023 modern definition of the phrase, the truth is out there because it is.